So FM23, the beta has finally landed and I'm sure you guys are all going to be wondering how to add in logo packs to your save so that your game looks as authentic as humanly possible. Obviously, Sports Interactive don't have the licenses to every team in the world. So the great people at Sort Out SI have created a logo pack for you to download to get into your game and install straight away so that you can have the exact logos in your game. Now, I will say if you are looking to do this on Mac, I do have another video on the channel where you can do this on a Mac. This video is specifically for Windows only, but I'll take you through all the steps where I download my files from, how I extract them, where they need to go, and the final in-game step to get things up and running. If you think you will find this video useful, guys, please do drop a like on it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are picking up the content for the very first time because there's going to be a lot of how-to guys to get you guys familiar with Football Manager as we kick things off for FM23. But let's dive in first and foremost and talk about where I get my graphic packs. So I get my graphic packs from the amazing people at Sort It Out SI. As you can see on the screen, there's loads of different ones there available for you to take a look at. However, my personal preference is the TCM logo packs. Obviously, they've got metallic ones, steel ones, you know, all sorts of whatever you like, basically. They've got loads of different ones, but we go for the TCM logo mega pack. So I've clicked on it there. Then you hit this download button. Obviously, it's quite a big file. There's over 139,000 club logos here. So what it does is it gives you the big logo that you would see on a profile screen but it also gives you the teeny tiny one that you would see on the league screens as well so if you download the complete pack if you've never downloaded it before you can do so here they do add data changes as well which you can download right here as well but i would suggest downloading the complete mega pack for the first time then once you've done that you need to find the right location for where you store these files so if i open my file explorer here for you guys to see you need to find where you hold your sports interactive folder now for most people once you install basically normally on steam or epic or something like this it goes into your documents folder so if you go into your documents folder on the left hand side go into sports interactive here football manager 2023 there it is sat and then you need to create yourself a graphics folder if you haven't done this or any other add-ons before you will probably have to create this before so just right click click new folder and just title it graphics obviously i have mine because i've already got mine installed on the game once you have done this you need to go into your downloads now as you can see i have the tcm logos mega pack here i've also got the sort out cuts here uh cut out face pack uh face pack as well i will show you guys how to install that separately but the process is relatively similar um so i use winrar to export and extract my zipped files guys this is completely free it is completely safe i will say um winrar i use it every day for work so you know i i i am a vouch i can vouch for it um so you need to find the tcm logo packs in your download here once you have downloaded it right click on it once you've installed winrar and click extract files now once you're here you need to find the location as to where you want this to go obviously it's the exact same file structure that we did just issues for the uh finding the graphics setup so you go into your documents again you go into your sports interactive folder you go into football manager 2023 and then obviously there is that graphics folder that we have created you hit okay and then it will start exporting all of the logos for you um and it should look once you're done a little bit like this so if we go into our graphics here then i've got my logos folder here as you can see we've got logos from all the different continents if we go into europe let's say and let's go into what's an unlicensed league let's go into italy for a start and then we've got clubs and competitions so all the club and competition crests will go in as well go into clubs go into normal and then as you can see guys we have a plethora of club badges in here for you guys to see um depending on who you want to start your save with but there is one more step guys and that is just a quick little in-game step which i will show you now so here I am on my beta save. I am with Manchester City. We are top of the table. Six wins from six from last night's stream. So thank you to everyone who stopped by. But you can catch that most weekday evenings from uh, seven till nine on the channel as well. But as you can see, I've already updated my logo packs here. I will give a little bit of a caveat. Manchester United don't have a logo pack here. That is because of their historical issue with Sports Interactive and actually trying to sue them. So Manchester United isn't in this graphics pack. If you want it, let me know down in the comment section because I can provide the files to do that i've done it myself here uh, just so we have a full division completed but the end game step guys you need to go to the fm tab here or if you're on your home screen just go to the preferences tab and then scroll down to the preferences section click on that one and it will bring up most likely you will either start on most common or the general settings 
And you need to go on this top right hand drop down here go on to interface and scroll down until you see the box that says skin now what you need to do here is yours will look a little bit different to mine um, you will need to unselect this box here which is use caching to decrease page load times please unselect that one and then tick this box to reload the skin when confirming changes in preferences the third one show uh, screen ids that's just a personal preference i like having mine on um, but yes to reload the skin when you do it then this button will appear appear down here to reload the skin or confirm hit that button and then obviously it will take a little bit of time but you're ultimately your game will then look like mine so if we go through the premier league you can see everybody's there let's head over to italy and have a look at the uh, Serie A as well if we go over to Italy, there's the Serie A. Obviously, you can see the Serie A badge is in there. All of the names of the clubs are in there. Um, so you, all, all the club's logos are in there. Sorry. So you can see how everybody looks. And I've also done my faces as well, guys. So if you want to see that, that video is coming out on the channel very, very soon. But if you did think this was useful, please do drop a like on it. And let me know down in the comment section who you're going to start your first FM23 save with. But until next time, guys, check out this playlist right up here. It's going to be the start of my beta journey with Man City. Hopefully, you can come along for the ride.